Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about how to squash multiple commits into a single commit in Git. Okay, the reason why we need this is because in order to keep a clear and concise history of your commits, this will be very much helpful. The reason is because when you create a pull request and um, you, know, you review it with your team, you might make lot of changes in your uh, code. Okay, so in as a process, you will do multiple commits into your pull request. Okay, so first you will create a PR. You might make uh, you might commit it, and then you will get multiple review comments from your peers or from your lead. As a process, you will try to make more changes or perform multiple commits into a single piece of pull single piece of code or, or a single pull request so as a result what will happen is you will not be able to track your commit history very uh, you know, properly so it might be very much confusing and all it might be very much confusing and also this git squash uh, will come in, come as a savior to actually help you to keep a clear and concise history of your commits okay as a developer this is a very uh, you know uh, helpful feature uh, to track and keep a clear conscious of your git commits all right so now let's uh, jump on to the practical session and try to understand how do we actually perform a git squash okay in before that we will try to create a pr or a pull request which has multiple commits for simplicity what i'm doing is i'm just taking the uh, i'm just cloning the uh, a, a repo which I've been using for demo purposes. So quickly, I'm gonna git clone. I'm just cloning my repo first. Um, okay, before cloning, I will have to go to a folder, right? So I have already created a folder called git squash. I'm gonna copy this and go to a specific folder now. Now I'm gonna clone it into this particular folder. Okay, so now the clone is successful. You can see here, All right? So now CD slash. Okay, I'm in my main branch. So in order to make any changes, let first let me create a branch. Get checkout. If and be, let's say, um, branch one for now. Okay, so currently we are in branch one. Now go, let me go and make a very simple change i'm gonna pick any sample file uh, you know so i'm not worried about the meaningful change here so i'm just gonna do some random changes here so do not worry about it all we need to understand is how the git commit a uh, git squash works so do not worry about all these changes so i have made a change here and now git status yes i have made the change so git add dot git commit if and m so i'm naming this as commit a for now okay all right now git push origin branch one okay yeah now my git push is successful now let me go to my git repo uh, azure devops ui now my brand now my changes has been pushed here let me create a pull request okay so let it be pr1 okay i am not worried about all these things for now i'm just creating a pr okay, now you can see in under commit tab we have something called commit here okay for now i have a single commit here only one commit here so let me go and make another two changes as well. Okay. Um, so let me go to compare to list. Edit. Let me remove this change. I'm going to save it. Git status. Yeah, now my change is added. Git add. Git commit. Let this commit be commit B. All right. Let me change this commit is done. Git push origin branch one. <coughs> and now my second commit also is successful. You can see commit B here. All right. Now let me go and make uh, another change to um, like command line arguments. Edit with 
sum of three numbers are okay i'm just making a random change git add space dot git commit let this commit be commit c and push it to branch one now you can see i have three commits here all right so now my pull request pr1 has three different commits here a b and c okay for now uh, for demo purposes i i just I only have three commits here, but in real time you can have n number of commits. Okay, it, it depends upon your uh, individual requirement. It it can be either two, it can be either in double digits, you know, fifteen or twenty, whatever it is, right? So our ultimate aim is to combine this multiple commit into a single commit. Let's try to do it practically and see what we should do when uh, what what steps we need to follow to squash all these commits into a single commit. Okay, first thing you need to do is git log hyphen hyphen one line. So by giving this command, you can actually see how much commit you are head off. Okay, so here you have main branch here. If you look at here, you have main branch here. Prior to that, you have three commits here: commit A, commit B, commit C, which actually shows you your um, head off how much commit. Okay, so here we have. One, two, one, three. All right. So, what I can do is, I need to git rebase it. Okay. So rebase is again a different concept. So, um, what you do as part of rebase is you rebase your uh, code or commit to a particular commit ID. Okay. So that you will actually work on that commit. Uh, you will work on the code that is actually present as part of that commit okay that's what we actually call as rebase do not worry if it is confusing rebase is a uh, vast topic again i will try to cover it uh, in a separate video but for now just try to understand what rebase is okay get rebase iphone hi which is which goes in interactive mode and head in capital letter and we have a tilde character tilde character and you have to provide the number of commits you wanna squash or the number of commits you are trying to merge together okay in this case we have three commits right commit a b and c so i'm just giving this number as three it can vary upon your requirement too so now i'm entering it you can see um it opened a unix or linux kind of file here what you can do is you can actually pick the commit you need in general you, your first commit would be the one you want to pick okay you want to pick the first one and i will come to my second line and i will give a squash okay whatever commits you want to squash you can squash it okay uh, so squash i want to squash these two commits either you can give a full word squash or you can just provide a short form called yes which should be more than enough to actually understand what Mm, squashes okay and uh, now i am saving this file by giving shift colon wq enter okay so you can see the details here so you have a first commit here um, this is my first commit message commit a commit b commit c okay so if you uh, need to change the commit message you can all you can change it here but for now i'm i'm not worried about it i all i all my intention is to just combine all those commits okay and i'm just coming out of this file okay now you can see the details here detach head this is the commit id what it did is everything it combined and detached to a commit a okay so let me show that in ui once we complete the push okay as part of this change three files has been updated in a change five insertions and five deletions okay so successfully rebase is now done successfully so in order to complete this step you have to git push hyphen hyphen force this is something important git hyphen you force you are forcing this change into your origin branch origin branch one it's taking while yeah now 
my push is completed now let me go to my git ui here yeah now you can see all the commits that is the three commits git a commit a commit b and commit c um, combine into a single commit here okay if you have to verify this also you can go and issue a git log hyphen hyphen one line command <coughs> excuse me now you can see um, we have something called commit a only one prior we had commit b and c as well right now we have only one okay so this way you can actually uh, squash multiple commits into a single commit which will be very much useful for you to keep track of your history in a clear and concise manner okay so as a developer this might this is a very great future if you ask me because in real time even i have faced this issue quite a lot of times mm, you know as part of my uh, pr process right if i had multiple re reviewers what happens is each and everyone gives different review comments based on their experience so what happens is as a result i will try i will make lot of changes into my pull request here okay so your history will look very much um, untidy okay you will have lot of commits it will be very uh, you know unclear or in case if you want to revert back or if you want to um you know go a few steps back to a particular commit in those kind of situation this might be very confusing um so this is a very great future um if you if you haven't tried this i would suggest you to uh, try this and uh, see if this work, work if this works out very well for you all right so yeah one thing to keep in mind is whenever uh, you are doing this one thing to keep in mind is give a clear uh, commit message each and every time okay for now i've just given a in a basic uh, sample message here but in real time when you are working on a real time project we can give the commit message in a very meaningful manner so that everyone can understand this okay um, so that is something very much important to keep in mind second thing is when you are working in a multiple team right when you are working as part of a multiple team member right um you always um, speak with your peers before doing this git squash okay because you uh, know uh, uh, there might be multiple contributors too so that um, you know um, th uh, this process shouldn't affect someone as well okay right so you always uh, take a uh, you know take a feedback uh, from your peers and try to perform this activity as well all right so yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you